here we go. Got up this morning, drove the kids to school with Amber, and I started my her car with my keys. She went to work, and my keys are still in that car. So Craig's driving me to get them. Hello. My son. Hello, how you doing everybody in Wonderland? All right, I got Amber's keys. Hopefully my truck keys are in this car, or... <sighs> I've wasted everybody's time, and I still don't know where my keys are. Lucky, lucky, my keys are in there. Man, you gotta love when days start off like this. Losing my car keys, first thing in the morning. Ugh. It's gonna get better, I can feel it. Well, I got my keys back, we're, I can't believe I did that to begin with. Left my keys in Amber's car and let her go to work. Roll up the rim here, another loser. Man, I, I was on like a roll up the rim streak when it started and I honestly can't remember now the last time I won, so. Man, the ups and downs of the roll up the rim at Tim Hortons. I actually, I'll tell you a funny story quickly. Yesterday I met with somebody and we were talking about fishing and fishing tournaments and I was like, oh, Tim Horton won the Bassmaster Elite series event on the weekend and they thought I was talking about coffee. That's a giggle. That's how much Canadians pay attention to what's going on in the world of fishing. So we're gonna cruise doctor's appointment today trying to waste the day. The doctor's is at 5 p.m. so I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do today but should be fun. Drove down by the river, They're, the steelhead are coming in. I, uh, I spent a ton of time talking to my buddy Terry Hickey, FLW angler. Did really well in the CSFL last year too with her buddy Paul. I wasn't going to fish, but I think I'm gonna run home, throw some warmer pants on, and maybe put an hour in to just, you know, kicking it down there, do a little float fishing. Maybe I get some, maybe I don't. Put about a half an hour into steelheading, river fishing, everybody's leaving, the bite's pretty much died. But here's two things I have to do this afternoon. First off, my row is no good. That was, I had tied, so I'm gonna have to go tie some more row. And I need to clean out this fanny pack because it is such a mess that I can hardly even, I don't even know it's in there anymore. So we're going to sort the fanny pack and we're going to tie a row bag all before the doctor's appointment. There was quite a few fish caught, but I didn't get into any. So always tomorrow. All right, so I just got home from the river. And we need to make this bag lighter. My steelheading bag, it is full to the brink of probably stuff I don't need, so. So I got the fanny pack all cleaned up. Man, that's gonna help. Probably half as light as it was. Organization is huge, but here's the next problem. I just checked all the row in the fridge, and for some reason, two of the containers that I had have gone rot. They got white specks on them, and they've gone gross, so we're out of row, which is kind of a, a problem. It looks like we'll be fishing the bead until we can track some row down. All right, here we go. Time to go get the kids before we go to the doctors. It's go time, Batman. All right, so far I got one of them. The other one is just about to get off the bus. How's your day at school? Good. Volleyball tonight? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Are you gonna play good? I hope so. Which part of volleyball do you think you need to work on the most? Serving and spiking, I think. At least you know what to work on. Yeah, just That's take step time. one. Let me go get the other one. Okay. All right, we're back. We got kid number two. Are you excited to go home, Ash? No. Why? What did you want to do? Are you gonna eat at home? Oh, you're gonna have an English muffin? Who's coming to the house? Sammy. All right, everybody's here. Gammy's here. Hey, Hello. Yeah. Hold on, say hi to everybody. Hi. What are you? What? What are you? Are you hungry? Yeah. What do you want? An English muffin. Are you gonna do your homework tonight? I'll have homework. 
Are you sure? I have a what? Doctor time. All right, we're at the Coburg Hospital. Mama Bear's gonna come in here with me for that somebody at least listens. I have a bad habit of forgetting what people said. They're not going to let me film in here. They never do. We've been over this like, I think out of the 15 doctor appointments I had, none of them, they wouldn't even let me film my blood work. Well, she doesn't quite have the reach I do, but we'll let you know what happens after this. Appointments in like 10 minutes. So we'll let you know what happens, keep you updated, and I'm kind of excited to get this over with. All right, so finished up at the doctors. They won't let us film in there. What was the news? It's kind of like we're staying the same path. They're, they're gonna do a whole bunch of more testing to rule out genetic blood issues. I'm gonna go see a blood doctor specialist on top of the lung doctor who I'm currently seeing. So it's more blood thinners for the foreseen future and kind of like the same route. They just they wanna make sure that they find out why I got the clots and what the odds of me getting more clots if I have to go off these blood thinners or if I stop taking them. So more tests, a lot more tests in the very near future. I'm kind of relieved. I didn't find out a whole lot, but I, I, I'm relieved to know that they're still searching and I, I, I don't really exactly know how I feel about it all. I haven't really let it sink in. I'm glad that they, they I'm not going to die today, but we'll do the test. We'll go back to see the specialist again. There's a pile of tests to do just so they can rule everything out and make sure that I make sure we figure out why I got the clot. So in other things, steel hunting today, it was slow for me. I kind of showed up to check out the river right when they were catching them and by the time I finally made it back down there, the bite was over. So they're coming through. It's good to see them coming through. I'll have to try to get out to do some more steelheading in the very near future, but there's a lot of things coming. There's a lot, it is tremendously warm out. Things are melting. We're gonna do a lot of fishing in the foreseen future. This is an exciting time of year. The boats are kind of come out soon. Texas is on the way, Bowmanville Taco Swap, Lindsay Sportsman Show. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for all your support, all your kind messages. It's gonna be a good year. It's March, but I feel like things are really gonna pick up. So guys, from the Fear Fishing Dungeon, we'll see you tomorrow.